Welcome back to Top of Clock. Oh, wow. What the f did I just say? All right, we got to do it again. That was not a good intro. Just do it again. Welcome back to Top of Talk. I fucked up the first intro, but here we are on the second one. Hey, you know what happened this weekend? It was Multiverses Evo, but not only just Multiverses. We also had Leffen slapping it up and Guilty Gear. But let's go ahead and talk about the first thing first. Let's talk about Leffen uh, slapping up and Guilty Gear. So I think we already knew that Leffen was pretty good at games. Leffen has been good at games for quite some time. Uh, he, uh, what was that? He was really good at, uh, at Dragon Ball Fighters. And then now he's kind of transferred that over to, um, to, uh, Guilty Gear. He also was actually not bad at Tekken. He was just complaining about Tekken a, a bunch. But, uh, yeah, Leffen went and proved that he's not only just a melee player or just a smasher or anything like that. Because he got third at Evo at Guilty Gear Strive, the biggest game there. Uh, which is like a huge accomplishment for, uh, Leffen. Uh, so big shout out to Leffen for, you know, repping. Uh, for the boys, uh, as that was like a really big, you know, really big accomplishment for him. On the other side of things, we had our boys, Nakat and Void, taking Multiverses Evo. Okay. To keep Miraman alive, Miraman like, struggling to touch the ground in every way. Up there, finds it, and that's gonna be it. Void and the Cat are your Evo 2022 Multiverses champions. The raw emotion from this team to overcome a matchup that they lost in winners. They didn't give up. They made the adjustments. And look at this. Look at the way that they're feeling. So relieved. So confident yeah. after the delivery that they had. Okay. Now that's big. And the first thing is that they're now EVO champions. Second is that there was the first event, uh, offline event, like official offline event from Multiverses. And it brought a lot of good stuff. But first, it brought this. Hold on, I gotta. I brought this. This is my favorite part of this. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Get out in every way. Up there, find it, and that's gonna be it. Void and the cat are your evil 2022 multiverses champion. Do not talk trash. That's all I need. Do not talk trash. That's all I need, baby. Oh, he wasn't surprised. Well, damn, I wasn't surprised for the 6-0. So, yeah, man. Uh, Void and the Cat coming back from the from, from losers, actually, to uh, to win this here tournament. Um, you know, they had, to, they had to bring it back. They had to bring it back. It wasn't like a far losers, though. It was, you know, it was... Uh, I think it was pretty late in the bracket that they lost. But, yeah, man, they 6-0'd him in grants. You know, Mirror Man, yeah, he, he, talked, he talked shit and got hit. And, uh... So that was uh that was a big dub. That was a big W for them, for sure. Um now I'm not I, I'm not saying that Mirror Man shouldn't have talked shit, because like it wasn't really like he said anything too crazy. You know, all he said was he wasn't surprised. It wasn't like he was like, yo, they fucking suck. You know what I mean? But like it was good to get that redemption for someone to be, like to be like cocky and whatnot and then get absolutely destroyed right after that, right? So good stuff to the cat and void. The reason why I really want to say good stuff to the cat and void is because they played the most interesting team of the top eight by a large margin okay uh he uh you know no one's i mean people say that tom and jerry is good right but there really isn't that much tom and jerry rep and then here on the other side of things people aren't even really looking at wonder woman like that and the cat went crazy the cat and and sandstorm are actually the reason why i picked up wonder woman because i was like yeah this character looks like she'd be doing some stuff uh and then i actually played against sandstorm and uh, he hit me with that rolling combo and i was like hey that's pretty dope bro so uh, overall, just a great time for the Smashers here at EVO. I think the biggest thing, though, that the biggest takeaway from EVO is that Multiverses look like, looks like it can be a successful game. And I also feel like Multiverses can easily run next to Smash if they're going to continue to play it like that. Because Multiverses is centered around doubles. Smashers hate doubles. At least Ultimate players hate doubles. So, but with the game, like, with the way that the game is right now, Multiverses, it is definitely made for doubles, Right. I think that, you know, it's fun playing singles, whatever. You know, I like to have my fun playing some singles. But for the most far part, it's about playing uh, doubles in that game. Like, that's what they're balancing for. That's how they made it. That's what they're going to do with it, right? So I feel like because of that, uh, Multiverse is filling up a niche that, like, has not been filled by any other game right now. Because most other platform fighters are, are kind of focused on the one-on-ones. Uh, and we have enough of those, right? You know, Rivals. Uh, I think there might be doubles and Rivals. But, yeah, we got that. Nasby, we didn't really run too many doubles in that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And just 
every other platform fighter that's being played under the sun is more often not a one player experience or one-on-one -on -one experience but here in multiverse this is they're not bouncing for one-on-ones and everybody knows that if it was just one-on-ones batman would win because batman's batman yeah i don't know man I, I think it's very easy for these games to uh to uh you know exist next to each other and you know i keep seeing people i've actually had this whole rant about this the other day about how you know everyone's always like oh the smash killer the smash killer right let me see if I got that tweet uh, queued up. Yeah, yeah. So everybody's, ooh, the smash killer. All right, so I was like, this is what I said, okay? This is what I put out. By the way, a lot of likes on this tweet. Insane. Multiverse is looking real promising. We as platform fighters need to stop concerning ourselves with what the smash killer is. It's just a genre, bro. There can be several uh, platform fighters that exist at the same time. The same argument never happens with fighting games. So nobody calls Mar uh, Mortal Kombat just Dark Street Fighter or Guilty Gear just Edgy Street Fighter, yet platform fighters are so concerned with something killing smash. Platform fighters are fun. There's a lot of them to pick, so just play the ones you like and go ham. Uh, of course, someone had to correct me and be like, well, you know, back in like 1989, like they used to. Call okay, we're, it's 2022, okay? <laughs> you know what I meant by the argument never happens in fighting games. But this never happens anymore if you want to just go ahead and make it. It doesn't happen, okay? And when it does happen, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not one of those situations where someone's like, I hope this is the whatever killer. I think they just think that they usually say it's like this game is like this. Uh, and if you're still looking for a whatever killer, you're just being a hater at this point in time. If you don't like the game that much, just go play something else. It's that easy, bro. It's really that easy. You can just play something else. Don't make no damn sense for you to be like, man, I really hope this game comes out and kills this other game. For what, bro? Just play something else and you'll be fine, right? You don't like Smash, but you like multiverses? Play multiverses, right? You don't like Smash, you like Brawlhalla, play Brawlhalla. You don't like Sm you don't like Brawlhalla, you like Rivals, play Rivals, right? No one's telling you that you have to play the other game because there's going to be a scene and all those things, you know? And this goes for any game, you know what I mean? You're, you're not a big fan of, uh, of, of Guilty Gear, you know, but you want to play some 2D game. I don't know, play Street Fighter, right? It's right there. Play KOF, you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's options for everybody. But one option we do need to stop is stop all that random ass hating for no reason, right? But anyway... Off topic, going back to Evo. Evo was great. Evo showed that uh, Multiverses does have some staying power. Uh, immediately, Evo has probably shown you that Velma's getting nerfed to the ground uh, because that character was in almost every team uh, for top eight. So that character is getting that character is getting touched. I don't know what exactly how you nerf Velma to the ground outside of bringing all her cooldowns all the way up, but that character is getting touched. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the meta looks like after we finish uh, nerfing Zelda, uh, Zelda uh, Velma to the ground. Uh, we also have Rick and Morty on the wing. So that's going to be coming out relatively soon. Not sure when, um, but uh, it, it will be coming soon. And then obviously we have all kind of, well, there was a bunch of leaks or whatever, but uh, I didn't actually read or watch or look at them. We just have a lot of stuff that's, that Multiverse can do. You know, Smash is always going to be Smash. It's going to be a, a Titan in its own. And I don't think anything is ever going to be able to take the number one spot from Smash. Uh, but if there was, you know, if there was another game to play alongside, I feel like this is definitely going to be the one, uh, especially for the newer experience that it gives. Uh, and I was telling everybody, you know, this game is very much like the like the Brawlhalla, uh, but like with a, you know, with IPs. Because it's very, it's you're very much in the air a lot. And you're also in the air a lot in Brawlhalla. Because there's a lot of freedom of movement in, those, in both those games. Uh, I know that people don't really want to play Brawlhalla because, like, it's a Flash game. And most lot, more often than not, you probably tried it when it was really bad because when the first game came out, the game was very easy to camp. It's pretty bad. It's a lot better now. Uh, it's fun to talk about. You know, I'm not forcing anybody to play because I'm just saying, I'm just saying though, like, it does have a similarity. So as a, multi, as a person who plays a lot of uh, platform fighters, I'm having a great time with Multiverses, and I hope to see it really pop off uh, for the next year or so at the very least. So... What do you think about Multiverse, though? What do you think about Evo? What do you think about our champions, Void and the Cat? Make sure you go ahead and leave all of your questions and comments below in the comments, uh, as I do read them and sometimes answer them, if they're good. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching uh, the TK Breezy channel. If you haven't already watched the TK Breezy stream, make sure you make your way over here at twitch.tv slash TK Breezy. And I'll catch you on the next video. With that being said, peace! Street Fighter Five was a nice Grand Finals too. I was so it was so it was so close to being Black Excellence, bro. With my favorite character too, man. Ah. Uh.